Hey guys and welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So today we're going to look at uh, Australian mules. So uh, there's been a number of mules that have come out over the years and uh, probably the most popular is the one that we've got on the screen right now which is the year 2000 one dollar mule with the uh, 10 cent obverse. Now yes these are the most popular ones but there have been a few others that have gone through uh, and become errors. Uh, or that they shouldn't have ever escaped the mint. Uh, so we'll have a look at a few different pictures. And these are pictures that I've uh, found on Google. And uh, and we'll just share a little bit about them. So uh, this particular one, the U2000 Mule figures, possibly they think there's uh, around 6,000 of them have made their way into circulation. And uh, this particular error wasn't really picked up until two or three years after it uh, was initially put into circulation. So, um, yeah, um, a lot of people have had some, some success finding these and uh, plenty of others have missed out on finding them. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to find, uh, uh, I think, about four or five of them. Uh, but uh, it, I'm well and truly overdue for one. And uh, I've certainly gone through hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, to find my next one. All right, so let's move on. So back in 1916, uh, so during the wartime, uh, this doesn't look like a mule, but it actually is. So uh, as we can see there, the uh, reverse, Commonwealth of Australia, one half penny 1916. Now you notice it's got a little eye here. So that's, that's the... Uh, that's the mint mark for Calcutta, so in India. So at the time, this particular coin was minted in Calcutta. And what's happened is the, uh, the obverse is that of a Indian quarter anna. Okay, so um, not an Australian coin, not a British coin, but an Indian coin. And... Um, so you look at this and you go, ah, oh, that looks about right, but it's not right. If I show you a photo of what that particular coin is meant to look like, so this is the actual Australian version of the coin, and uh, you'll see there that that's the way it's meant to be. It's got additional writing, and uh, um, the the other side is exactly the same. But uh, yes, these are highly valued coins. I don't know the value of it right now. But uh, it is something uh, very special, and I don't know how many of them were actually produced. All right, the next one. Now, you may look at this one and go, yep, that looks normal. But no, once again, this is not normal. So when we go through our coins and we're looking for uh, special coins, we quite often come up against a 1977 uh, 50 cent coin. But they never have these... Um, the uh, coat of arms, coat of arms. I couldn't remember what I was going to say. The coat of arms on it. Uh, normally they have the uh, the silver jubilee, fifty cent coin. So that's what they all have, and they technically were never put into circulation with the coat of arms. So a few of these have been found, at least one. Um, but uh, these things are worth. Well, fifteen to twenty thousand dollars each, if if they are found. Um, and I don't know if anyone's in in recent times has ever actually found one of these in circulation, but uh, who knows? They could be out there. So that leads us on to the next one, which is our uh, nineteen eighty eight. Now I wasn't able to find um, a photo of the non proof version, but. Uh, here it is in the proof version, and uh, this particular coin, yes, once again, you would go, yep, that looks right. But until you see what's meant to be on the other side, which is the uh, bicentenary, bicentenary coin, so uh, 1788 to 1988, that's what's on the back of all our circulating coins. Um, but here we have uh, some that were produced with the uh, coat of arms uh, on the back so uh, that's another one of the uh, Australian mules now moving along a little bit just stepping away from Australian mules 
this one here, well, it's still an Australian mule, but there's a difference with this coin, and I wasn't able to find uh, a photo of both sides together, but uh, that looks like a 1978 Australian 20 cent coin. Now, what's happened here is, is that there was a mule that year that had the Australian reverse, oh, sorry, obverse, with a Fijian reverse. So occasionally we find uh, this particular design when we're going through our 20 cent coins. And it is well worth checking to make sure that it says Fiji on the obverse and not Australia. So if you find one of those, well, you're in for a nice little, a nice little surprise. So to finish off uh, the uh, next mule, which is the Australian 1978 50 cent muled with a Fijian 50 cent. So uh, we've got uh, already two coins uh, that are known of uh, from 1978. And I believe there was also a 5 cent coin uh, from 1978 that was also muled with a Fijian 5 cent coin. I uh, wasn't able to find photos, but it was something I read about. Uh, but uh, yeah, it looks like they made quite a few errors that year when minting uh, these 50 cent, 20 cent and 5 cent Fijian coins and uh, as the Australian government was minting the coins for Fiji. Alright guys, well I hope you've enjoyed this look at uh, some of the other mules outside of the uh, common one that we know, but uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this look and um, I sh probably should have included in this one the 2014 uh, 100 years of Anzac uh, mule. Um, I didn't think about that at the time, but uh, yes, uh, that's a relatively new one that's just been found, and uh, we uh, look forward to hopefully someone finding some more of those. But uh, what, what else have I missed, guys? If there's any other ones, I could possibly update this video, and uh, as, as we find other uh, information. Uh, so let me know in the comments if there's other Australian mules. There are, of course, other mules uh, from New Zealand. Uh, but I just wanted to focus this video on the Australian ones. And, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments uh, if I've missed some. And uh, I'll look at uh, redoing this video with uh, additional information. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so. And uh, I look forward to bringing more videos to you soon. All right, guys, bye for now.